Hey there, I'm sure you have seen this before, but it's looking like a fun evening Wednesday project. And look what I got by the post today. And this is XR2206 function generator. We should start with capacitor, resistor, diodes and so on. Welding IC sockets, terminal blocks, finally power sockets, adjuster potentiometers. Let's do this. Okay, let's start with resistor, let's say. What we got here? 330 ohms. So let's check the list. Air 4. This one here, just plant it for now. I will do the soldering a little bit later. Next, 1 kilo ohm. By the list we have 1 kilo ohm called Air 1. And this is Air 1, right here. Let's go further. And we got three more resistors. And don't tell me these guys are the same. Really? 5.1, 5.1, 5.1, okay. Identical resistors. R3, R5, R6. Where are you? I think this is R6. Yeah. Another one. And R3. Where are you? R3. This is R3. Yeah. And R3. R5. Where is R5? Okay, the next is the neighbor here, right here. Let's soldier these guys first and then we'll plant the other. We'll do exactly what they are saying in the manual. Okay, you know this have to be soldered both sides, front and back of the board. Yeah. Beautiful. And this other guy. Yeah. Okay, here maybe I'll use a little flux. Perfect. Let's cut the things. Old school nail clipper. And that makes me remember my childhood and my first electronic experiments. You know, I've been ruining all the nail clippers in the house. It was always a fight about that. Okay, let's have the capacitors. And to be sure about that, I'll use my friend here, component tester, to be sure that we are doing the right positioning. Let me start with this one, which is 100 pico. Okay, what about the list? C1. Okay, so they don't have real capacity. So they write it down what it's saying on the capacitor. So 001 is going to C8. Where is C8? Here is C8. Then we have uh, 105, 105 is going to C5. Right. Just want to let a little room for these bodies. I don't like to solder them, you know, very close. The temperature can dismantle the capacitor. 222, this is C7 up here. And then another one, which is 473. And we have 473 C6. And one more to go, and this is 104, which is C2, right here. Okay, let's solder these capacitors. Looking good. And the last one, capacitors in place. Let's have the electrolytics. We got three of them. Let me start with this 100 microfarads at 16 volts. And this is electrolytic 100 micro C1. All right, where is C1? C1, the long one, it's plus always but we also have a mark for the minus. 
same story here I will anyway I, I don't I can't do anything but I have to be sure I have to be sure that the the soldering it's going deep in the hole and it goes okay the other guy it's let me see 10 micro goes to c3 and c4 okay uh, c3 plus here minus the other side and this is also 10 c3 and c4 any more electrolytics no next what shall we do shall we have the jumpers okay so be careful when you're keeping this in place take it from the opposite corner because you are risking to burn your fingers so once it's in place then the others can easily okay and we have another jumper same story so be careful about which corner are you soldering you see i was left down and i was doing the right up a little dirty but it doesn't really matter now let's have the ic support here with the key in the right place looking good next tension meters are all the same adjustable resistance b10 okay this is 100 b5 okay this is r7 and then r0 a b104 okay we got two yeah 100 kilo on another 50 should be right down here okay we are good anything else oh yes jumpers and power supply what is this for this is ground this is square okay this is the output i get it and that's the power supply okay people we are almost done okay that should be okay and now the potentiometers in the right position okay very nice we are good to go here we have the main actor here xr2206 cp okay be careful with the key here all right yep good you know i need this at the top to have an idea about what's happening there okay and now that should be the frequency switch from 65k to 1 megahertz up here and here we have the waveform switch yeah pretty clear how many volts do we have to apply here okay center positive barrel negative four 9 to 12 volts power supply supply more than 12 volts the output wave it's an not more than 12 volts how much do we have here that should be okay 9 volts i got the plus here you know something we can even we can put the screws in too that's a really nice touch with this box and i have one extra how comes <laughs> they are usually missing thank you i have a tendency of rushing the things but uh, this this time i'll pass my excitement and i'll check the voltage and we have 893 maybe we should go like 9 volts that's enough well people cross fingers no LED, nothing. How do I know this thing is on? What we got here? Amplitude, fine, and course. And because my multimeter here can read frequency, let's see what this is saying about. All right, there we go. What about the amplitude? Okay, it doesn't really care about the amplitude, but we should hear that in the headphones okay the potentiometer it's working 
all the way around so this is a maximum and minimum the other side It's like a teremin almost. Okay. Yeah. It's working. I'm gonna use a little uh, oscilloscope. Ground. And signal. Good to go. Perfect. Oh. It's even... We are on 102 three kilo okay let me have a one kilohertz one point okay that's one kilohertz okay okay so we go this is course yeah I'm fine all right I got it so I'm going here to have well Kind of good. Let me see this pushing a little bit harder. You can see the limiting up there. So I can bet on a nice signal signal of 1.44 RMS. That's more than enough to work with a amplifier. But let's go higher. Let's go to a higher frequency. What we got here? 19 kilohertz. Nice. 24, 54 kilohertz, right? Let's go on auto. Well, I think that's the limit for this little guy. 7, okay, 50 kilohertz, 81 kilohertz. All right, let's go a little bit higher. It's supposed to be 250. Of course not. Yeah, but it's reading 260. 173 yeah it starts limiting around 187 well it's a toy but it can be used so here What we got here? And the last one down here to 10 Hertz. Wow. Yeah, it's reading. <laughs> one head. Do you see that? That's 20 Hertz. All right, next. 10 to 100. 27, yeah, and we got 100 here. Oh, it's too much. You know, it's uh, okay, it's useful, why not? And it's a funny <laughs> uh, entertainment for a Wednesday evening, like I said. Well, please like, please subscribe, and of course, don't forget to write. And most important thing, don't forget to have fun. Bye-bye.